Now Virgo, since it's your birthday, I'm doing an extended. I pulled the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Wands out and we're gonna do a quick read. Spirit, if you can give me some confirmation, validation, some guidance, some insights for our Virgo family on this relationship here, this Queen of Pentacles and this King of Wands. Thank you, angels, thank you, guides. Way too many cards there. Okay, we've got the Empress here, okay? And we have the Two of Pentacles. So the Empress is all about kind of like the divinity from the Hierophant, not quite as high as the High Priestess, but this is about somebody that really encompasses, you know, um, the divine feminine as far as mothering other people. You might not be a mother, but having that energy where you're taking care of people, you're stable, you're open to receiving love as well as giving love when you hit this Empress point, okay? Yeah, and we've got the Wheel of Fortune here. Again, I feel like you've been going kind of back and forth, trying to figure out what to do, you know, thinking through the situation. We talked up here about the balancer, um, the over analysis that you're being, sorry, too many cards there. You're being called to balance, okay, to not overthink things, all right, to really just tune in to learn how to be still, like unplug from things, learn how to be still, okay? It's about your mindset here because this Queen of Pentacles, she's awesome. She's growing. She's growing her financial wealth. But to come into the Empress energy is to bring it into like a full circle where you're dealing with your whole self, your emotions, which can be really hard on these moons, right? Okay, and we also have the Two of Cups, yeah. This could very well lead to marriage here if that's what you want, but it is a divine partnership, okay? And the King of Wands is bringing in this harvest. You've got the Wheel of Fortune here, plenty of opportunity. Just know that this partnership is coming in from the divine, okay? Yeah, you guys have been working hard. And you'll have to watch the first one because we this kind of deals with like that Knight of Swords, or excuse me, the Knight of Cups energy that was coming in here, right? king of rods here you're leaving something behind here and you're moving forward okay and it's going to lead you right into the wheel of fortune here abundance okay and it might just be your mindset about it you know it doesn't have to be that you're you know like switching people it could be that you're letting go of a mindset right coming out of that queen of pentacles into that empress energy where you're open to giving and receiving love in a very balanced way is what i'm getting here okay that was it for these cards i'm going to go ahead and pull another four runes for you virgo because this is specifically about this relationship here thank you spirit this is for virgo Okay, we've got one blank one. All right, I know these are probably hard for you to see, so I'm going to hold them up. This is about the hearth, and it should be in this direction here. It's about divination, luck, and primal law. So you need to pull this into balance to have that work for you, right? The second rune we have, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> I'm so sorry. The second rune <laughs> that we have is Odin, gods and ancestors, okay? And this was kind of tilted also. You have to remember your previous spiritual experiences. You've been clearing, you know, these, these huge, huge generational patterns just by going through this journey, just by improving yourself, okay? Well, I didn't see it. This one's also blank. So it's basically about remembering where you came from and how much work that you have done okay and balancing yourself to bring in this you know this this luck this primal law of opportunity okay and um abundance that is here for you virgo this is yours okay so anyway i hope this has been helpful enjoy your birthday season virgo take good care of yourselves take care of each other and be kind out there